The future of learning is one that inspires me and fuels my passion to create magical learning moments for all scholars. I am Dr. Lee Buddy Jr., the proud principal of Way Park School in Cleveland, Ohio. It is a pleasure to spend some time with you to share information on my school, on my amazing scholars, and how my entire team is working thoughtfully to provide targeted learning experiences for scholars. The scholars that I serve are in pre-K through eighth grade who are smart, talented, curious, brilliant, and are ready to conquer the world. We are explicit with providing a variety of enrichment opportunities for scholars, which range from STEM club, dance, storytelling, student ambassador program, orchestra and band, chorus, chess, visual arts, and cooking. I would like to tell you a bit more about our student ambassadors. The Ambassador Empowerment Program focuses on three things, empowerment, academics, and service. These amazing scholars have traveled to various cities to empower other scholars to be successful at school. One important focus at Wade Park is giving students a voice. One way that we achieve this is providing an opportunity for our ambassadors to write a personal empowerment speech, which includes information on their academic journey, tips for success, and providing words of inspiration. These scholars develop workshops that are held in various classrooms and they facilitate breakout sessions during the learning journeys. On a recent learning journey to Washington, D.C., our scholars visited a variety of museums, attended a Broadway show, and led workshops in several classrooms. Their inspiring empowerment speeches were a hit. In addition, our ambassadors routinely participate in a variety of community service projects and academic project-based activities. By providing our scholars an opportunity to have a voice, providing training to teach them how to hold a conversation, and lead sessions is something that we really take our time to do. In our school, we teach the Way Park Way, which is just a set of norms and expectations for all of our scholars. A fun way for us to teach manners, soft skills, and respect is during our annual Amazing Shake competition that was born out of the Ron Clark Academy. During the competition, kids are charged with making eye contact, and they move through a variety of different stations where they have to respond to different scenarios, which challenges them to think on their feet. During one of the rounds, students have to work the room at a business event and hold a conversation. And during our last competition, our top two finalists traveled to New York City for the final round at Google's New York office. After a quick tour, our top two finalists were interviewed and additional points were given. And ultimately, the winner was chosen. As we look to the future of developing our leaders, we continue to look for innovative ways to provide real world opportunities for scholars to learn and grow. This past year, dealing with the global pandemic has been one for the books. But the Way Park team has worked really hard to meet the needs of every scholar. We challenge some of our ambassadors to reflect on what the future of learning means to them, challenges that they are facing, 
and what should take place in schools so that all scholars could experience success. I am so excited for you to meet some of our scholars, Layla, Jordan, Davea, D. Manuel, Michaela, and Madison. Hi everyone, my name is Layla and I am a student ambassador at Wade Park. I envision the future of learning to be filled with new technology, new learning techniques, and cooler classrooms. In these classrooms, I envision students with iPads, laptops, 3D printers, and smart walls. By utilizing these tools, my teacher will be able to provide personalized instruction with targeted assignments and provide timely feedback to help me learn and grow. I challenge you to continue to innovate and discover new tools that will help me learn new content. I want to be in classrooms that are fun and challenge me to think critically. Working together, we can meet our present challenges and develop scholars who are equipped to thrive. The future of learning is one that inspires me, but also encourages me to reflect on some of the present challenges. Focus. Children have to sit at a computer for long periods of the day, and after a while, it is definitely hard to focus. The second challenge is internet. Some children may not have a good, strong, and reliable internet connection, which can make it difficult to stay on Zoom and Microsoft Teams, and make it very difficult to attend virtual classes and get assignments submitted. The third challenge is home life. Children don't always have quiet spaces, and that makes it very hard for them to do virtual learning. And last but not least is social interaction. Children don't get to see their friends more often, and that makes them often sad, lonely, and depressed. I am fortunate to be a part of Way Park School in Cleveland, Ohio, where I get to participate in a variety of activities with my friends, such as the community bike ride with the Cleveland police officers. It was so much fun. In addition, I participated in a special project where I conducted wellness checks on individuals in, the, in our community. Take a look. My name is Yvonne Pointer, and the program is the Hope Haven Connection Station. We just call them every day, make sure they're doing all right, ask if they need anything, any help. Each week I send letters and notes to my community leader and my senior with quotes and things what we did over the week. Um, they might call us for like, if they want to talk about some personal feelings that they have, it's just some things that they do. Together we can tackle these challenges and it is one that I welcome. The future of learning excites me as it relates to how most kids are learning right now with virtual or hybrid learning. Some strengths include keeping kids, teachers, and staff safe and flexibility with watching lecture and submitting assignments. This global pandemic has changed how we interact in and out of school. New measurements are in place such as social distancing and mask wearing. It is great that schools have continued to approve meaningful activities for kids. I love to sing and dance and my school has really worked hard to prove lots of enrichment programs such as STEM club, course, cooking class, bucket drums, dance, and spoken words and the student ambassador leadership program. Take a look at one of our recent virtual performances. Our world is going through some things that have changed the lives of us all, most notably having children out of school, coming to school via hybrid or virtual due to the global pandemic. There are some positive things that I would love to highlight. The first two points, convenience and comfortability. A big benefit of online education is the convenience of being able to log on to the virtual platform when needed, in the comfort of your own home. A recent article in the New York Times by an incoming high school freshman in New York City praised online learning by quoting more time on subjects that require greater effort in study. Next, availability and affordability. Schools have worked earnestly to provide internet access and devices for scholars to enable them to participate in virtual learning. At my school, we offer monthly parent workshops to help strengthen parents' knowledge, answer questions, and review the various learning platforms to empower parents. An added benefit on virtual learning is the flexibility that it provides for scholars. As schools seek to prepare scholars for careers, this is a talent that poises many students to be uniquely prepared for a professional marketplace 
where remote options are common. As the coronavirus pandemic pushes students towards alternative education routes, online learning provides the benefit of easing the financial burden of traditional schooling that isn't available in certain places. Another strength of virtual learning. Students are able to go back and watch videos from previous lessons. I look forward to the future of learning in our schools. The future of learning excites me as a scholar because I'm open to a lot of new technology and hands-on activities. It is critical for schools to provide targeted learning activities to provoke curiosity, challenge traditional ways of learning, and providing students with the ability to question, investigate, and present through a variety of methods. My classmates complete different activities together in small breakout rooms where we also compare our answers to help each other out. At my school, teachers are charged with providing each scholar with engaging and personalized learning. One of these examples was when Dr. Buddy modeled a lesson for scholars and surprise scholars with a carnival. Take a look. Welcome to our carnival. Our scholars were involved in a variety of tasks to design their own carnival. Students designed their tickets, they decided how much each ticket price would cost. They also had to develop and design their own games that would be involved at their carnival. This activity was so much fun and the cotton candy and popcorn was delicious. I enjoy painting and reading because it helps relieve stress from school. It's always good to have a clear mind and a clear focus. As an education community committed to implementing positive change, I challenge you to continue to give your scholars a voice and continue to work together to transform education to meet the needs of all scholars. Hello, my name is Madison Reed. I'm a 14-year-old sophomore at Beaumont and a proud graduate of Way Park Elementary School, both in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, I want to speak to you about the future of education. I've titled this poem, The Future of Our Future. The future of our future will still contain the past, so watch what you instill in youth, those lessons will last. The future isn't abstract, it's happening right now. What we do every day matters, but the real question is how. Our world is surely changing, we see it every day. The leaders of tomorrow are who we teach today. The future looks like self-confidence, but only if we know that each student's diverse history help our nation grow. The future of education, it's important, don't you see? We must begin to move past just telling his story. When I think about my education, I know my future is bright. The lessons my teachers have instilled in me have become my guiding light. I look forward to speaking more about the future of education. Thank you, scholars, for sharing your thoughts on the future of learning. These scholars are so talented and I am proud of them. Whatever role that you are in, there are several things that I want you to take away from this session. First, it's critical that all schools provide authentic and meaningful learning experiences for scholars. It's also important to give your scholars a voice and create lessons for them that are hands-on and fun and infuse technology. And last, it's important to celebrate your educators and scholars. Taken together, we can create magical moments for scholars where every scholar can experience success. Thank you.